With me in the studio to talk about the Festival of Trees happens to be Melissa Levesque. She is the Executive Director with the Leeds and Grenville Interval House. Welcome to the program. Thanks for having Please me. Please tell our viewers, what is the Festival of Trees? So the Festival of Trees is a Christmas fundraiser for Leeds and Grenville Interval House, um, where local businesses, organizations, and individuals donate decorated Christmas trees. Okay. And then we will be selling raffle tickets at the event over the weekend, and community members can come through, take a look at the trees, walk around, and try to win them. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So when is this happening? What's the dates? So it is next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the November 20th. 24th to the 26th. Alrighty, and location? It is in the old Fabric Land at 125 Stewart Boulevard. Um, so it'll be in the same area as the market that's going on. Yes, that'll be fun too. Yeah. The market, new trees. So that'll really bring a lot of people in. Yeah. So that's the Brockville Shopping Center then, if it I is, remember yes. rightly. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're hoping that, that businesses or individuals, mm -hmm. will donate a tree mm -hmm. already decorated? Yeah, we have a setup time. So the event starts at 3 on Friday. Yes. And so before that, we'll be open for businesses to come and bring their trees. They can decorate it on site there right. and get them all ready for, for people to come and see them. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think be. so. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So um, are, there, are there tickets? Like if there's someone who is browsing around, looking at the trees and can't figure out what they're going to do, mm -hmm. um, do they buy a ticket? Well, how, what do they do? Yeah, so tickets are $2 each, the raffle tickets. Um, and we also, we have booklets of five tickets for $10 and um, they can buy them right there on site. Mm -hmm. And then they can put their tickets in as many trees as they want to try and win. So you'll have boxes and you just pop yep. your okay exactly. your ticket in there and yeah. then if it happens to be pulled out because yep. it's going to be pull the, the ticket out of the yeah so sunday box. at noon uh -huh. um the viewing will end and we'll draw the tickets right there that's great yeah that's super and you know uh, you could actually have a, a tree that's already decorated. I like that idea. Yes, exactly. And I imagine a lot of our viewers do too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes when the kids get a little bit older, it becomes a task. Yes, for sure. <laughs> so um, the uh, the people, you will notify them by telephone, whatever? Yeah, so we'll have their phone numbers on the tickets. Mm -hmm. um, we'll announce it on Facebook Live so anyone can watch on our Facebook page. Okay. Um, but then we will reach out and phone the winners as well. That's nice. Yeah. And this is all a fundraiser for Interval House, it is, is it not? Yes. For review that are either new to Brockville or they don't know what the Leeds and Grenville Interval yeah. House is, please tell our viewers yeah, what it is. Yeah, awesome. So Leeds and Grenville Interval House, um, it is a domestic violence shelter for women and children fleeing abuse in the area. Uh, we have a 10-bed shelter. Uh, we also provide outreach services and children's witness programming um, for individuals who may not either be able to or want to come into the shelter, yes. um, who we can provide services for out in the community as well. That's great. Okay, for, for um, um, our viewers, not only the trees, but are mm. there things that, that people can drop off to you, donate to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're always looking for, you know, hygiene items. People mm. always need shampoos, exactly. conditioners, towels, bed sheets, that kind of stuff. We have people in and out a lot. Yes. Um, and so we, and we like to send what we can with them when they're starting out their new home as well. So, mm. so things like that always, there's always a use for. Now, should people phone ahead if they have something that they want to drop off or? We are open 24-7. Um, so, but a phone call or an email is great nice. ahead of time. So yes. we know that they're coming. Yeah, yeah. that's good. We're also ramping up um, our Christmas fundraising, of course, this time of year. So um, any, you know, toys and, and women items that might be nice for Christmas gifts are always appreciated as well. That's super. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in and sitting thank down you. and telling me and our viewers about the Festival Trees. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to meet you. And nice <laughs> to meet you. And I think, I like this. This is an awesome idea. Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah.